What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk more about Lucasfilm's new brave and stunning hire, Leslie Headland, because Leslie Headland is starting to get exposed as a very, very terrible person, which falls in line with most of the people that Lucasfilm decides to hire, and now it gets even better. So here we are on Disney Star Wars is Dumb from Ichi Baka. We see the Force's female respect women. Uh, Leslie Headland deleted 246 tweets yesterday. Interesting indeed. Following Ryan Johnson's example, Leslie Headland has decided to delete 246 uh, tweets yesterday, according to Social Blade. Um, and as you can see right here on Social Blade, uh, this is her following uh, list and her followers. And right there in the red, 246 deleted tweets. Just yesterday, when the announcement came, when the story broke from Variety, that Harvey Weinstein's former former personal assistant would be running a female centric show for Lucasfilm and Disney Plus and this is also the person this is also the person that had this to say and i think it's very important that we continue to play this clip right here uh, from data racer 117 shout out to data racer 117 let's play this clip where she is a uh, telling everyone that white women need to speak up. This is the creative mind that Lucasfilm has decided they want to run their female-centric show. Now, I know I've talked about it a few times, but it needs to be covered more and more. I just say that, like, I, I think white women need to kind of step up their game, to be quite honest. Like, <laughs> sorry, but I'm calling, I'm calling you bitches out. Like, um, <laughs> you really do, because, like, you know, there's, like, we can... I couldn't agree more with everything that, that these brilliant women are saying, but like I I'm also seeing the silent killer, which is a lot of white women at the top who are kind of reinforcing a lot of old ideas. They're, they're, I think a lot of it, af you know, to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'll just speak from my own personal experience, it's just like I wasn't sure how to be an ally. I wasn't sure what type, I got so caught up in like what kind of terminology I was supposed to be using and being politically correct. And, and, and so uh, as I started to rise, in television I started to just get more blunt and just start saying like I would like a black writer because if I said diverse no, you know you you get you get well white is diverse which is something somebody said to me and I was like wow, wow. Um, <laughs> imagine thinking that you need a black writer and not a talented writer not to say that a black writer can't be talented the point is is that's what she wants she wants a specific race why not just a writer that can benefit the story, regardless of what their skin color is? And if they happen to be black, then great. If they happen to be white, then great. If they happen to be female, then great. If they happen to be male, then great. How about focus on the story? But this is Lucasfilm's exact approach to everything. It's identity politics on top of identity politics on top of identity politics. Let's continue to listen. Uh, I was like, it's not. Cool. But, um... But, but to really, you know, I, I reached out to my, you know, um, uh, the, the women that I respect who are, who are, are not white um, writers and directors, and I said, what should I say? What, what, lang how, what language should I use? You know, and, and I think it's worth it if you're in a position of um, hiring power or, or uh, green lighting power to, like, reach out to people that are not like you and say, what can I do to be an ally? And, and how, can I, how can I support um, writers of color and... Um, um, LGD, LGBTQ and disabled writers, like, what can I do? And um, what kind of uh, vocabulary should I be using? Because I think it's just easier, I just see it in the room, like, I just see them kind of go, like, it's just easier, like, the guy at the top's louder, it's, it's harder to say, like, I think this should be a black writer, I think this should be an Asian American actor, I think it should be this type of, like, I would like to cast, and, you know, uh, really, I find it a lot as well with as, as a queer woman, like with uh, gay characters, whether they be gay men or uh, gay women, where I'm saying like, that's not a gay person. Like, <laughs> sorry, like this is not a gay person. Like we're not representing that in in this storyline. Like, it, like. What a twisted, sick, weird person. Um, so again, notice that everything, everything that this woman talks about is identity politics driven. It's all about a person's race, a person's gender, a person's sexual orientation, not their qualifications. 
And because it has nothing to do with being qualified. It has nothing to do with benefiting a story. It has to do with identity politics. So anyway, uh, so what tweets is she deleting? Back to the deleted tweets after the announcement that she was the new showrunner for the new female-centric Star Wars. What tweets is she deleting? Well, the cut tells us this. Uh, Leslie Headland wrote a play about working for Hi Harvey Weinstein back in tw 2008. It was an experience she knew something about. Uh, Headland, the filmmaker and co-creator of Russian Doll, spent six years as an assistant at Miramax and the Weinstein Company. One of them reportedly... Uh, reporting directly to Weinstein himself. Despite that, Weinstein placed Hedlund on his red flag list, which was a list Weinstein gave his private investigator of people he thought might be talking to the media about his sexual misconduct. So there's a possibility that Hedlund may have viewed him as a hero uh, to the collective. Um, or may have, uh, let's see, may be viewed as a, as a hero to the collective, not him, but may, because I'm so used to Hollywood people viewing him as a hero, um, because, you know, Meryl Streep, uh, famously called Harvey Weinstein God, but it says, so there's a possibility that Headland may be viewed as a hero to the collective. Regardless, Headland may have been busy deleting Weinstein-related tweets according to a 2008 uh, article from Vulture. Um, here are some of those tweets which no longer exist. Okay, I had to start over because there's some words in here that I'm not allowed to say. Um, so I'm just, we're just going to gloss over them. But here's some of the tweets. Um, a Broadway producer shouldn't be asking an old white guy who doesn't believe blank is a thing to write a play about Harvey Weinstein. Um, and, you know, you can just continue to read some of these things. And apparently these are some of the ones that have been deleted. Uh, what will this do to the Me Too movement? Who knows? But it looks like Leslie isn't quite as bold and brave when she isn't in a room filled with nothing but SJWs who will clap at her race-obsessed hyperbole like trained seals. Uh, thanks to Bounding into Comics for the tip. Absolutely. I've been talking to John Trent, and he has been on top of this story as well. So shout out to Bounding Into Comics. Uh, please go and check out Bounding Into Comics. Go follow them over on Twitter um, right there, at Bounding Comics. Great site, great follow, and you will get a lot of great information. So please do that. But this is where we're at. You know, where, where, what did she delete, and why did she delete 246 tweets on the day that she was announced as the Lucasfilm new female-centric hire that happened to also be a former assistant of Harvey Weinstein? Now, is deleting tweets or anything inherently bad? It's not inherently bad, but it's the timing of the situation and the fact that she wants to act so virtuous. That is the problem. If she had never said white women need to speak up, if she had never taken that virtuous stance, if she had never sat there and taken the job with a female-centric show for Lucasfilm, then none of this would be a problem. You can delete tweets, you can do whatever you want, who really cares, but when you take a virtuous stance, when you are trying to act like you are holier than thou, when you are trying to speak with identity politics, and then the day you're announced as the new brave and stunning hire for Lucasfilm, you're deleting tweets on the same day? Something seems a bit off there. So, anyway, shout out to Ichibaka, shout out to Bounding Into Comics, thank you guys for checking out this video, shout out to DataRacer117 as well. Um, I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. We're going to have more gaming content coming your way. We're also going to have more stuff on our gaming channel, on our park hopping channel, our theme park channel, on our sports channel. We're going to be live streaming over there with the NFL draft that's happening tonight. Some of you will see this video before that. You can tune in over there. Follow us over on Twitch, Gaming with Geeks, uh, Geeks and Gamers Live, our live stream archive channel, and of course, geeksandgamers.com. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. <sighs> Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. The force is female. And we will talk to you later.